What's up, weirdo? That's right, you're a weirdo. Uh, you wanna play Blue Archive in 2023? Thank you, Miyu. Anyways. Oh, okay. My bad. Sorry, Miyu. Anyways, if you wanna play Blue Archive in 2023, I'm gonna ask you one question. You like gacha game? You don't like gacha game? Do not play this game. You will not like gacha game. Gacha games, basically, whenever you play with the characters a lot, they don't level up. They need materials to level up. So if you don't like that, don't play Blue Archive, okay? For, for those who are interested in gacha game because you are a sick and twisted individual and you think Genshin Impact is trash, Genshin is trash, I think Blue Archive is better than Genshin Impact. Hey, let me introduce you what's going on right now. My character level is 76. I think the max global level is 80. I don't know. I don't really care. I play this game for fun. To give you context, I used to be a Roblox YouTuber and I don't do it anymore. And now I'm making Blue Archive videos for fun. I have a job. I have a 9 to 5 job, okay? I'm kind of busy guy and I only play Blue Archive after work because I don't got lots of time. So if you're someone who has lots of free time, you might not like this game. You'll be like, oh, this game is not deep. This game is not detailed because, because you know, you're... you're you're unemployed and you just spend all the time playing these stupid games, okay? Then you can go play Genshin Impact or something. To give a context more about me, I used to play FGO a lot. I spent 2k USD on that stupid game and I don't play it anymore. If anyone wanna buy my FGO account, hit me up. It's against the terms of service, but I don't give a shit. <laughs> the reason you might discover Blue Archive is because YouTube keep pushing the Whoa, cute and funny. I hate that, okay? I don't, I don't like cute and funny. I, these are my student. I'm a sensei and I respect my students. Let me show you my top 10 favorite student. Number one, Miu. Number three, Akko. Okay, I just installed this program on my computer so I can record because I don't like recording on my phone. I don't want to flex, but I have a Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. It's really good for playing Blue Archive. This is not sponsored by Samsung, but it should be. Samsung, hit me up. Blue Archive, hit me up. Natsu is good too. She, she, she don't care. She's kind of chill. I like her. Koro is also good. She heals and... And likes to read uh, inappropriate books for her age. That's just like me, for real, for real. Where is my number one? Let me show you my favorite. Let me show you my favorite. She's good too. What's her name? I forgot already. Fuka is good because she cooks. My mom don't like Fuka because her eyes are red. And she say anime characters with red eyes are like drunken or demonic. I think she's fine. She's a Gehenna student. Karen is also good. I just recently got her. She got this, this butt plug thing on the back. Very cool, very chill. She said happy birthday to me. My birthday was two days ago. If you didn't say happy birthday in the comment now, you can do it now, okay? She's also good. Listen to her voice. What's her name? Yeah, she's cute. Very cute. Very cute. My nice student. I respect you. It's inappropriate. That's right. We, we will not have this. Thank you. I appreciate you. What are you going to What are you going to tell me? Who's a fan of Needle? Can you say you're a Needle fan? I'm not. Oshino Live 2D is terrible. She looks cross-eyed. I love her, but... Game, fix that. You're in a video game, lady. Yeah, there you go. My favorite, Yori. Not a king of fighter, Yori, uh, Shiromi. Anyways, you have to be some kind of sick, twisted individual to like gacha game like me. Yeah, and you have like anime. So if the two, the stars don't align, you won't like this game. Anyway, let's get into how the game works. Basically, this is the currency, right? This is on the for rolling. Currently, there's an event, but I'm not going to the roll thing. You can watch other channels. There are much better channels than this, but I'm just generally rolling for whoever I like. Like, for example, Miyu. She's trash. I spent a spark to get her, but she looks cute. Who are you? Get out. The core of the game is the cafe, I guess. It's where you see your favorite characters walk around in a 3D environment generated by computer graphics. For example, this is my trash cafe. There's nothing going on. This, but this, you, yes. Thank you. All right. Thank you, my dear. Anyways, when you click them, they give you relationship points. Relationship points is not something inappropriate, but but they give you um, more damage and more health. And cafe also generates you the the energy points. If you play gacha game, you know these games always have those energy thingy where like oh you can't play a lot because you need to get out and get some sunshine, get some vitamin D's into your system. Let me show you the students. In gacha, it's all this about students, right? But in blue archive, blue archive, it's two main things. Striker are actually the character that stay on the field and shoot stuff. Special is enhancer like healer like this one's a healer this one's a healer this one's a damager this one's a damager i don't know the technical term i don't care you're gonna correct me in the comments anyway so i'm gonna use the wrong term this one is a buff 
Yeah, there we go. It's a buff. This one is Okusora Ayane. That doesn't matter. She's a healer, but she's kind of hard to use. So you have to be like kind of smart or have a good phone that doesn't lag when you play Blue Archive to play her good. And the rest is like, whatever, dude. I have two tanks. I, some, some of them I level up because I didn't look at the guides. So in this game, the most important thing is you level up the character you use the most. Like my level is 75, but let's, let's say I want to level Iori, it's not worth it. Look, she gained like what, 100, 100 more damage points. But let's say I look at the characters I just recently got because they got an event, but I didn't level them up. Let's say I level up this little little mustache idiot, get like what, 1000 points just from 1 to 57. So in this game, you kind of want to pick which character you want to level up. My recommendation is you level up uh, Yori uh and and okay i'm not gonna recommend you anything because this is what i use yori is good because she shoots hard amy heals herself junko just kills haruka shoots a lot mutsuki i don't know if she's good but i have her i level her up anyway because she looks funny and stupid shiroko is really cracked oshino swimsuit is obviously broken you can't get her anymore suckers yuka because uh, i had her since the start and she looks cute so i love her up i like asusa so i love her up She's good in boss raids. We'll get to that later. Serika is good. She buffs herself. Hoshino stuns people. It's good. Kuaru damage and heals. Haruna is just cute as hell, dude. I like Subaki. Her racks are too big. And you just level whoever the hell you want. This game is a chill game. And you can pretty much get away with leveling up stupid characters. And obviously, each character will have like a level up for these ones. This one is a on-screen effect where you like you click the button on screen. I'll show you in the battles. But these are called EX skill. The rest are called passives, I guess. EX goes up to level 5 and passive goes up to level 10. And there's equipment, but whatever, dude. It's gacha game. So basically, you just grind to like get these books to level them up. And you want to increase the equipment where they buff stats. See? They go up to tier 6, I believe. I'm like, my max out, my crack character is Iori, right? She's at level 5. It's max. And it's at tier 5. I think there's another tier, but you can see that how much stuff they increase. Yeah. It just buffed the hell out. And if you get lots of the copies of the same character, you can unlock their guns. Only guns I got for this one is Hoshino because she was on the Summer Raid Up banner. And I got her like, cracked the hell up. I made this whole video just to flex my Summer Hoshino to be honest. The core game, I guess for you, most people will be Mission and Story. Do not play Tactical Challenge. This is the worst cesspool of gamers ever. This game is pure meta. It's not fun. Don't play this. Only play it for like the daily rewards. Uh, other than that, you have to clear up to around this mission. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You have to get to around, I think, 12 or 13 mission, which is level requirement 67. It's not that bad. You can technically beat it with like a level 50 team. It's not that hard. This game is chill, as I say. But for the story, the main story is here. I'm not going to spoil you the story or anything, but if you... Get to around level mission uh mission 14 15 12 i don't know i can't remember i don't remember that kind of things i just play the game and you can pretty much read all the story as you offer yeah the story is, is quite good let me let me be clear here let me be serious here for a moment the story in blue archive is kind of relaxing but it has a really good touch to it okay the eden treaty made me tear up other part is very fun it's a very enjoyable read. It's not like, oh, the world's ending. We gotta fix everything. Everything's doomed. It's, it's, it's very lighthearted. I like it a lot. Even if the, the main story, the Eden Treaty, was kind of heavy, but some parts are really good. Some parts are really well done, and they explain like the character's motives and everything. Overall, for a gacha game, the story is quite impressive. Only visual novel I read was the, the 4chan one, the, the crippled girl, Katawa Chojo, but that one is like the, my, my baby's first anime, I guess, visual novel. The other one with FGO, I skipped most of the story because I don't really care. I like Ivan the Terrible. Yeah, the story is good. I, I recommend the story. T-Line, Sewer, Hashtag, Damp. These two are mission and story. Mission is where you grind for the equipment. You remember the three items there? Yeah, that's where you grind the... Hi. I'm recording, shut up. Technical challenge is a PvP one, it's trash, it's all done by the robot, you cannot actually control anything, I don't recommend you play this because this one will make you mad. They added a skip thing, so that's good. Uh, Total Assault is the raid. This one is more like when you max out everything and want to get big numbers, you play Total Assault. Joint Firing Drill is for getting items or something, I don't know, I don't really care. Bounty is where you get free items. You can get two tickets per day. These bounties are good for... Uh, leveling up the ex skill the blu-ray ones are for leveling up the ex skill which is the the one you press on screen and this one is for the passive i think yeah this one for the passive you can get like random amounts not random amounts you can get like from different school these are random which one you get 
Sometimes you don't get nothing at all. And then last one is classrooms for artifact. As you can see that I can't clear eye yet because I'm trash. And the recommended level is 70. Anyways, this is where you get items. You just run through these each day because the good thing about blue archive is that you can do sweeps sweep up basically if you get three star in these you can do an automatic run so you don't have to like sit there wait for the game to play itself and and then you know close the app these are very convenient as a quality of life features uh for commissions i don't recommend you do these these are not worth it this one gives you uh, currencies as you can see here it gives you money you have like truckload of money you don't need that and base defense is for books and it's not worth it you spend like this amount of energy you spend 40 energy for like one yellow book it's not worth it you can just get it from the normal mission that's all and last one is scrimmage i don't really know how this one works but it levels up your gun but you need to like limit break your character to level up their gun too next i'll show you uh club you can join my club check out my club join my club it's called mega death it's a heavy metal dude uh, my team uh, most of people here are dead the club gives you 10 energy and you can use assistant Basically, the whole thing for the club is that if you have like non-crack characters, you can borrow other people's ca crack character and, you know, steamroll through the game. It costs you some cash. It's, it's worth it if you're too lazy to grind for content. Yeah, so definitely join my club or join other people's club for their crack characters. And lastly is crafting. You want to do this if you're a new player. You want to craft furniture. Let's say if you craft something using this, all right, it will give you a choice of items. Yellow ones are usually high tier, like for example, you can get a Jelly's Arcade set or whatever. But the other ones you can also get is Gift. Gift is good for raising your student relationship points. More relationship points unlocks you their special little stories and buff their stats. In this case, I'll make a Gift because I don't care. But you can craft furniture here. They call it dorm in JP or something, but in English we call it cafe. Does it matter? It does not matter. I don't really care. It's, it's just words on the screen, right? It's just words, man. I don't care. You can level up the comfort through your furniture. And basically what it does, it, it increases your earning per hour. Like I'm at 19.49. You might be at like 0 0.5. But this one gives you more currency to do for events. For example, the current ongoing event is the Beach Shack franchise plan. I know how to play. Hi, Chise. Yes, bye, Chise. And when you know, it's, it's just... Gotcha sub, you know, event, but I think on global, they are on accelerated event pace. So there's always new events every like other three weeks or something. The main criticism of this game is that people say the battle is too basic. So basically, this is what it looks like for 2013. They added these three new buttons. They just rearranged it, but layout allows you to load a predetermined team quickly. I don't really use this. I like to click them manually because I'm insane. Unit info will show you like the stats and stuff. I'll, I'll go into detail later. But this is the most important one, the leader. The leader will basically be the one who stands in the minimap when you play like the normal mode. It will be like a, a tile that you have to move around. But the leader will be the one standing there and doing hand gestures and stuff. So you can pick the leader. This one is more a cosmetic thing, but it's very important to me because I'm a shallow person. And then the other good one is starting skill. Before this update, they did not have this. So basically, you can select which skill you want to have at the start of the game. So generally, it would be useful to have like a healer ready, a buff ready, and maybe one attack skill. You can also move them around. Check this out. Look at Haruna though. Swag. Mega swag. She is so swagged up. This is the main screen where you'll see stuff often. So the game allows you for four strikers. So basically the character on field character and there's off field characters. This character will buff your whole team using their like stats. So but you have to go to the student screen to see it. But you can also see it in the other screen. So let's say I want to fight this team. And usually what you do, you click and see like, okay, there's light, special, special. And you can look here like, okay, what's special weak to? Special is weak to miss. These are defense type and these are attack type special is weak to mystic so it's basically blue is weak to blue but they're normal against yellow so you could use yellow or blue and there's also light which is weak into explosive and mystic so in this situation you would be good to use a mystic and i don't know i forgot what i said you know what i, I don't care what the thing says i'm gonna pick whatever i want okay yori The layout you want is one tank and maybe one support or whatever. I'm not an expert on this, but you can see their position. Like Hoshino will try to stay at the front line as possible. Like Guaru will stay at the back. There's front, middle, and back. 
is it probably a terrible guide do not watch this video for a guide on how to build teams because i'm trash at it and i want Oshino to be the leader and i want to stun kill and shoot and you remember the four skill i told you ex skill the buttons will be on the screen okay i'm gonna slow it down so you can see what the hell's going on see you see this one you can auto play it i don't recommend it but the ex skill will be like this when you click it you will choose where you shoot or tap it if you play in full go off go off girl hit the wall hit the wall boom see she's resisting it this dude is red so he's resisting all uh, yellow attacks very racist but this is a general gameplay loop you can disable these animations if you want i turn it on because i'm weird like that okay look at my girl look at my girl go off go off go off lady oh yeah shoot that thing go off you can speed up the game too if you don't want to wait this one looks more cinematic it looks so nice on on a youtube video talking about the game but no one plays it like this they play on adhd mode like this me included buff the team boom i just want to show you what the game looks like and, and i only played once so you can skip it like that it's not like fgo i have to watch the np every time fuck you fgo that's the whole loop of the game basically you get three choices of uh ex skills you choose one and then the rest stays on that's the whole game if you want to know more blue archive let me know otherwise i'm gonna go play uh dragon's dogma see ya